So one of the coolest and probably strangest websites that I found during my, I don't, I don't know, like, uh, time of loading IT and such um, has been an open directory, actually. And I wanted to share it with you in this video. So it, it was index of that ES. And as you can see, it's uh, it's locked. It's locked. You can't access it. But Jesus Christ, let me tell you, it uh, contains some really interesting information. Like it contains so much information, it was it was it was epic. Uh, and we can even see it by going to the Wayback Machine because now it's locked. The owner locked it because of uh, let's see, index of that yes. Uh, in this, uh, I mean here, like the owner, the, people suspect that it was because of the server was overloaded, because too many people were downloading it and got too popular, so that's, yeah, that's a good assumption I would say, so index of that ES, and we can take a look at what it looked like, I know in 2020, and you can see, if we wait for this to load, it was something like this, okay? It was basically an open directory of information about mainly IT. So, uh, exploits, cracking, cryptography, computer, CSS, C++. And you can, pro you can probably get some documents out of this through the Wayback Machine. For example, if you go to the... Let's see, I don't know, something that's probably legal. I would say, I don't know, C++. I don't want to risk anything, so... No, it's... Yeah, this one, in, in this case, it's... It didn't call it, so yeah, that's enough. And you can probably get something, especially if you go into the Wayback Machine here and go to the summary. There is some information saved, so you can probably get something out of it um, if you waste enough time on this. So, <clears throat> but as of today, um, as of today, I mean date. Uh, April 26th of 2023, it's locked. Um, and I'm suspecting the owner of this website was Zoro. Um, because Zoro repository tells me something that this is probably somebody's name, I guess the owner. Or maybe there were multiple owners. But if you Google Zoro on index of that yes, on site Reddit, we can see something the Zorg repository. So it's, it was probably something, right? It's probably somebody just sharing and keeping all of their information on, on one website, on one server, and wanted to share it with the internet or, or something. And now they can still share it probably, but just they locked it to specific people. And... Um, yeah. The cool thing is that I don't even know where this originates from. I don't even know how I... F Actually, I do know how I found it. It was through uh, Google... What is it? Google... Uh, Google Dorking. Which is like like using the um, Google Opens to search for various interesting documents. Like, I don't know. Uh, entitle, index, of, flash, hacking or something. And here you can see that you can find interesting... Uh, Documents about hacking related stuff with in with index of slash in their title or something I mean, there's lots of operands or operators, whatever they're called Google operators uh, That you can use for example all in text uh, link cache or something um, One of my favorites being file type PDF or any uh, in any extension you, you can add with hacking or something and yeah <clears throat> so I found this website and then if you if you do something interesting like go in the in in the past like 2016 17 you'll have found that it linked to other websites or there are multiple more owners probably of this um, <clears throat> more owners are probably just one one person having multiple websites or something. I can I cannot guess at this point. Um, but you can also go, also go to those websites through the web archive. I'm pretty sure that all of those websites by now are offline as well. So yeah, you can see that there was a lot of stuff. 
and I'm pretty sure that those domains got got sold by now, so that you know, the, the, there's probably no owner of this anymore. Uh, but it's just cool, like a cool thing to have on the internet still, like in 2023, like to have it on the Wayback Machine, uh, you know, just to appreciate the past. And one of it's th those websites, sisters, you could say, was I don't even know how I found this one, but it was like index of that code UK. I think it was also to Google Dorking, but I don't know. So this one just completely disappeared. It just uh, index of that code that okay, this one completely disappeared. It just doesn't it uh, routes you to another website, but. Uh, if we go in the past, again, 2020 probably, we can see that it was actually another open direct directory of all sorts of information. And while you might be now feeling kind of depressed because all this information is gone now and you probably can't access it, although maybe... I don't know, the majority of it is not, it's not stored anywhere, so okay. And you might be feeling down for it, but let me tell you that there are still other alternatives that you can find, like similar to this, that you can find on the internet. And I will link you to some of them. Um, for example, one of them being the aliraepac.to, I think it was, yeah. Pegaso web. And so, <clears throat> uh, if you go to specifically the uh, docs tech subdirectory, you can find a lot of information here. And again, an open directory. And you can go to networking, you can go firewalls, you can find all sorts of information. For example, you can go forensics, hacking, uh, SQL injection, whatever you like, okay? And ZZZ, okay. This is in Italian, by the way. In my case, I'm lucky because I know Italian, but um, if you don't, I guess, just leave those or translate them on your own. I don't fucking know. I'm not sure what the rest of this website is. I, I guess some sort of like public docs. I guess it links you to other other uh, open directories or something. I didn't dig too much into this website, but yeah, here for example you can search. So I don't know, let's search for free BSD. And it finds some some um, some links that you know contain free BSD. Another one which I already opened in this video was Specifically, what the hell? Okay, let's see. Entitle index of slash and hacking. It was this one. What the fuck? Yeah, you can see Liga Epac that yo, it's actually here. One of the first links. Uh, detours. Oh, yeah, there's another one I found. This one is a one, the one I found liter uh, literally like three days ago or something. And then you have this one secret subjects, yeah. If you go in and remove the secret subjects, you have, I don't know, I don't know what the fuck is this, bro, but like, yeah, I guess you have some sort of, again, some sort of um, open directory of information, and if you go to secret subjects, you have quite a lot of, a lot of information here, so for example, under GRD, volume 1, volume 2, or info, you have a lot of things to, to look at, if you, have, if you just feel bored or whatever, if you want to learn. Um, I'm not sure how much of this is legal, but and probably the knowledge itself is legal, but like depending on what you do with it, it's can get pretty dark or pretty gray. So, with that said, um, I'm not linking any more of this because you, you can probably find more of it on by just googling or you know seeing the Google Dark uh, technique. Um, but one of the things that I might do in the future is start torrenting index of that es if you're interested because i have uh let me just uh, give me a second um, index of yeah here i have a clone i did in back in the i don't know when february 15 2024 too. So it's a snapshot of, of this website that I did with one of my scripts. 
and you can go here and if I can just demonstrate it and now go to local host here you, you can see that the website works it's literally um, the whole website cloned so if you go to I don't know Metasploit which is one of the frameworks for hacking you can see we get the documents it's everything stored on my on my computer basically and if you wonder how big this thing is well 88 gigabytes so yeah um, I might want I might um, make a torrent for this in the future and like seed it for some time um, but I don't know I'll, I will have to see until then yeah, all I want to know, all, all I want to just say is use Google Docs because you can find some amazing information while you still can, probably. So one of the things you could do is go to all of those websites and um, just take snapshots of them, download every pile of information that you can, and then make torrents for them so that even if the website gets shut down, you, you know you have some sort of thing to fall back on. <clears throat> One of them maybe being uh, Lyra, that EPEC, that TO that I showed. You know, you can take a web, a um, a snapshot of this. In fact, I even did it already. Uh, let me show you. Internal. Where the fuck is it, Lyra? Okay. So here, here's it, and you can see that. It was on February 16, 2022. So, if I do Python 3 HTTP server, uh, and now go to localhost 8000, you can see that we have the website, and even the search thing works. It's, it may be because it uh, connects to some API, I don't have, even know what it does in the background. Uh, Linux, let's see. It goes to a. It probably quer yeah, it queries it on on a on one of their servers. That's how it works. It's not like yeah, that's how it works. Okay. Oh, this this is actually an iframe. What the fuck? This is a whole iframe. Yeah. Goddamn. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> and so with that, you can then go to docs uh, tech. I'm sorry, tech docs? What the hell? Was it? Oh no, because I shut down the server, okay, never mind. Anyway, you get the point. And so, yeah, th those kinds of open directories I very much like and enjoy because they're super cool. I mean, if you manage to find them. So, <clears throat> yeah, that that's it for this video, I would say. <laughs>